What's up, fellas? So I had a loyal patron supporter that wanted to know the con pros and cons to living alone. Now, obviously, I don't have to tell you this is obviously a purple pill brother who's considering whether he should um, move his girlfriend in or move in with her, whichever one is going to be. And uh, and if you do go, if you are planning on, if you're a purple pill guy and you plan on uh, living with your girl, at the very least, uh, get a new place together. Don't move in with her, okay? Even if she puts your name on the lease, it never feels like it's yours. All right, I'm gonna I'm move with girls into their place, and I'm gonna tell you right now, even if you're paying half the bills, it still feels like their place. So at the very least, have a move in with you, or y'all get another place all together. That way, both of you guys feel like this is y'all place, not oh I'm moving in with Tyrone or John. All right, you wanted to. Both of y'all guys feel like this is our place, okay? So that's the first thing, never move in with a girl. All right, so I wrote, I wrote so I came up with about seven pros uh, to living alone, and I came up with five cons to living alone. All right, number one, and this is a big one, uh, this is a pro, you do everything your way. So as y'all guys see how I got the apartment and everything, Everything is how I want it. All right, we got one vote in my place, and the vote is always one to zero. All right, I make the vote on whatever goes on in here. When you move in with a girl or y'all move in together, however you want to phrase it, what ends up happening is now it comes a joint decision. Every little thing do we want a TV in the bedroom or not? Do we want this picture on the wall? Uh, just every look, what color we gonna paint this? So that is one thing you give up right off the back is everything is done your way. Like specifically how you want the place to look, okay? So that's one thing right off the bat. Everything is done how I want it. I don't gotta confer with this, that, and the other. And some of you guys are gonna be dickheads and say, well, I wouldn't confer with them way. Well, the, the, the bottom line is this here, guys. If y'all guys, especially you purple pill guys, want relationships, and even for you guys in non-monogamous relationships, uh, compromise has to happen. All right, no relationship is healthy off a of dictatorship. I'm just letting you know you can do the fuck you want to do, but I'm gonna tell you right now: the woman feels like she's never being heard. Her concerns are never being addressed. I'm telling you, that's not a healthy relationship, and you're gonna have issues. It's compromise, just like Congress. We got to compromise. Nobody's gonna get all of what they want. That's the basis of a relationship, all right? We're gonna watch the game together tonight. Tomorrow, we'll watch some little shitty movie that you wanna watch, all right? And to be quite honest with you guys, when I sit down and I watch TV with girls and I compromise with them like that, what I found out is this is how I've discovered other shows that I would have never given a chance to in a million years. I would have never in a million years gave Game of Thrones uh, or The Walking Dead uh, the time of day those science fiction fantasy type shows and stuff like that i i never been into those i like stuff that's kind of like more realistic uh you know stuff like that but i would have never gave those fantasy sci-fi type of shows a chance and i ended up loving them i'm more of a like the wire and sopranos something that's more realistic all right not crazy with dragons and all that and walking dead people walking around but when you when you with a woman and you explore out the box and you try things that you normally would have tried, you know, I always had heard for years about the notebook, this, the notebook, that. Man, the notebook is a damn good movie. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think I've ever seen a movie that got more red pill knowledge in it than the notebook. I mean, just I want to tell you guys the movie who haven't seen it, but basically, how I always perceived the movie, and this is how it's always been presented to me back in the past, was it's about this old 90-year-old couple and how they fell in love, right? And what it is is this, this guy, without trying to tell you guys the movie, I want y'all guys to watch. There's a lot of red pill knowledge in there. A lot, of, a lot of simp shit and all this shit in there, too. The guy was on the Ferris wheel threatening to, 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 to fall off the, the Ferris wheel. The woman then went go on a date with him. All right, little simp shit like this. And then y'all guys wonder why y'all brainwashed to put women on a pedestal. You see shit like that. And it, 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 it's so common in movies. You see that so much with, oh, he won the woman over. It's so common. So he hanging off the goddamn Ferris wheel talking about something. If you don't go on a date with me, I'm going to drop. And she said yes. Okay. And then later on in the movie, 
um, she's engaged or whatever. They lost contact with each other because the mama didn't want her to be with him because he he didn't have no money and whatever. So the mama wasn't giving the girl his letters and stuff. He was sending to him hypergamy. And uh, so she done went and met this guy that got a lot of money uh, and was engaged to him. But he come back into the picture. And it's what I was telling you guys. Even though he, he really didn't have no money and this dude she was with had a lot of money, she went back to him. And that's what I was telling you guys about when you got an attachment to a woman. That's what I've seen in real life for all you guys who are going to say, oh, yeah, but that's just a movie. That's how I've seen it in real life when, when a woman is attached to you. You can have more money, but if a dude is attached, she'll leave your ass for that dude. That's how I've seen it. I want you guys to check that movie out. But getting back to the point, I would have never gave that movie the time of day. Since my girl uh, recommended, my main chick, the chick I deal with the most, recommended it, I gave it a chance, and I liked it. You see what I'm saying? So these are the type of things that when you compromise, you end up finding out things that you might not even like. One reason why a lot of you guys are so unhappy and you can't find happiness in life, you never step outside the box. You do the same routine every day. You go to work, you come home, you play a little video games, watch a little porn, uh, you might flip through the TV some, a little bit, you jerk off, you, you go and take a shower, and, you go to, and, and then you wonder why you can't find no happiness. You never step outside the box, you never try different things. Okay, guys? So that's one thing right there. Compromise must happen in a relationship. All right, next, <clears throat> you can keep the attraction easier. So when uh, a pro to living alone is, the the thing is with women is we have to a woman maintains attraction when she when space is created so when you're around a woman what ends up happening is she gets comfortable with you what you want a woman doing is she want you want the woman missing you so she can engage her emotions because now she starts to thinking about you okay that's just the way to, and so you can actually create that living with a woman but it's easier, obviously, if you're living alone, okay? So one thing you're going to notice when you're living alone that, man, it's easier for me to keep her attraction high. As soon as you move in with her, you're going to start noticing. You're like, damn, she don't seem to be all over lusting me. And not saying that you can't maintain that if you live with her. You can. All right? You can still be, remain a mystery uh, by being on your purpose, by engaging in activities with uh, your friends and stuff like this, what happens is guys just start to make the woman their priority and they leave the things that they was doing. But you can still, uh, just so I can clarify that, you can still remain a mystery living with a woman. All right. But it's just so much easier. And quite frankly, the mystery that you get when you live with her, even though you uh, do other stuff, at the end of the day, she still knows you're going to come home. It's just that, that, that passion and intensity is more when she don't see you all together. So let's say you're one of these guys, and let's say you're one of these guys, and you're in a serious, committed relationship, all right? So if you're in a serious, committed relationship, not like, you know, red pill, non-monogamous relationship, you're in a serious, serious, one-girl relationship, mono uh, monogamous relationship, you're probably going to see her three times a week, right? Something like that, give or take. I tell you guys uh, two times. But uh, for my guys that's in serious, serious, long-term relationship, that's, that's going to be a little bit pushing it. I prefer if you could do it like that, but let's be realistic. If you've been you a, you, you a girl for five years, uh, she's going to want to see you more than twice a week. I'm just sorry. She's going to want to see you probably about three, four times a week. I'm just, this is, if you don't live with a girl and you're in a long, long-term relationship, let me tell you what I've seen from long-term relationships not living together. You're going to usually spend the weekend with that girl and usually at least one other day during the week, like a Tuesday or Wednesday. That's what I've seen. All right. The whole weekend, Saturday and Sunday. All right. And at least one other day during the week, like a Tuesday or Wednesday. That's how I've seen it. OK. Uh, if you got a girl that's really busy, maybe you can still keep it to two. But when you don't see her at all, period, opposed to even though you've been out you know, shooting pool or on your purpose. When you live with a woman, that mystery ain't the same as when she ain't seen you for two or three days. It's still much, much better. Okay. It's still just, she going to suck your dick a little bit better, a little bit harder when she don't live with you. I'm just going to let you know that right now. Now I'm going to be honest too. It's some guys that can actually remain a mystery better, not 
living with a woman then some guys can not living with a woman because they communicate too much they don't know how to limit limit uh cut down on their communication keep their communication limited okay guys next <clears throat> keep your woman on her toes easier so when you're living on uh, uh, alone we got this thing called competition anxiety guys and what that is is when you move in with a woman you kind of say hey baby it's, the race is over you you is over with you know when you move in with a girl it's almost like you in the fourth quarter and you up 20 or 30 you know what i'm saying it's over opposed to if you in the fourth quarter and we tied with one minute left that's what that's how you want a woman to feel you want a woman to feel tight like that that's what happens when you don't live with a woman you let her know job's not over this is why you see a different different behavior from women when you get in, get in a relationship. Then what's the next stage? Moving in together. Then what's the next stage? Getting married. Each stage, you see a little less output on her end because she done got a little bit more comfortable. You get everybody best foot forward on what the first few months, couple of months or whatever. Then you make a get a committed relationship. Then you see a downgrade from that. Okay, then you decide, hey, let's move in together. Then you see a little downgrade from that. Then you say, hey, let's get married. Some of you guys get married before you move in together, whatever. But y'all guys get what I'm saying. I, I, if you purple pill guy and you just going to get married no matter what I say, or you want these guys in these cultures where it's just your religion says you have to get married. I, if, it, if it was me, I would at least want to live with a girl for a month or two just to see how she is living together. Okay, guys. But that's the thing you're going to see. You're going to see. When you live alone, the pro is you can keep her on her toes easier because that competition anxiety. She feels like I'm still in competition. OK. Next, <clears throat> don't have to deal with her mood swings. So this is the thing, guys, no matter how how attraction a woman is for you, no matter how masculine you stay in your frame all the time. No, I, don't, I don't care if you masculine frame 24 seven. Women have hormones, they have estrogen from time to time, they ain't gonna have mood swings. The thing is, when you in your masculine frame and she respects you, you're gonna see it less than normal. But at the end of the day, she's still a woman, she still has a period once a month, so her hormones are still gonna be up and down no matter what you do. And so, what, what'll happen is when a girl respects you. She won't do the, the crazy mood swings where she's just talking shit, right? She'll do the mood swings where she'll just bring, try to draw your emotions in, talking about, you know, I don't think you love me how I love you. See, they, then they come to that. So when she respect you, her mood swings are different. When she, when she don't respect you, have a lack of respect for you, she'll come in the house just talking about dumb shit, about, you know, you don't hip around the house, blah, blah, blah. You left a dish in the sink last week and whatever. When she respects you, all right, she don't go that route. She'll go the route of, well, I just don't think we, we connect on a higher level and all this. All this just to bring your emotions. And she's just doing bullshit, right? And you got to deal with that. That's just, that's never going to end. I don't care how masculine your frame is. That's just part of being a woman from time to time, maybe once a month or once every other month. You're going to, you just going to notice that. That don't mean she's going to come in the house throwing shit. It just means she's going to come in the house and she might not be as, you know, loving as she was. The day before that's just women you just got to deal with it all right and it kind of can throw you off make you feel a certain type of way you're like god damn what the hell wrong with or not that's what you got to deal with when you live with a woman so a pro to not live with a woman you don't have to deal with that next don't have to worry about her uh, friends and family coming over now there was a big issue for me when i had living girlfriends i all hated all their families all right they come over the nosy asses and you know, just, you know, just I want to talk and blah, 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 blah. And every time I would just go in the bedroom, not not that was wrong with them then like that. I'm just not a sociable person. I don't want people all in my goddamn business, all in, you know, and they just come over there 10 deep, you know, just talking and playing, thumping all this other shit, playing cards and shit. And used to get on my goddamn nerves. So when you live alone, you don't have to do deal with that. And like I said, it wasn't like they was hating on me or they hated me or nothing like that. Man, they would come over on a Sunday when I'm trying to rest up for work the next day. Hear their ass coming here, little country bumpkin, talking all loud and shit. Talking, hey, boy, I ain't doing all that shit, man. I don't want to deal with that shit, man. And so that's what you're going to have to deal with if you live with a girl. You're going to have to deal with her friends and family coming over from time to time. And don't even get me started on if she done told them something they don't like you. Okay? That's even worse. 
But even, even if she hasn't told them then, just, man, just leave me the hell. I don't want to be bothered. All right. Next, <clears throat> helps prevent you from getting attached. So uh, when you guys live with a woman, I am just telling you, I, I think I said this in other videos. If I was just to give you a cat, and let's just say you don't even like cats. Let's say, hey, man, I'm going out of the country for a year. I need you to hold on to this cat for me. I, you know, I don't got nobody else to keep him. I'll let you keep that cat. If, you might hate that motherfucker for the first couple of months. But eventually, just being around that motherfucker, about two or three months later, you'll start, oh, that cat ain't all that bad, man. You done got attached to the goddamn cat. So when you're with a woman and she's around you all the time and you're sleeping in the bed with her all the time, you build an attachment. You, you kind of become dependent on her for that. So what ends up happening is if you was able to break, you done got accustomed to being around her all the time. You almost done got addicted to her presence. And that's what happens when you live with the woman. It increases your chances of getting attached. It just going to happen. You might not even like her theoretically that much. But what you get attached to is you just get attached to always having somebody there. You just like you are, you become dependent on, you know, my girl is going to be there. She get on my nerves sometimes, but you become attached to her. Even if you're not attached to her directly, you're attached to her always being there, which is bad, guys. If It's never good for a man to get attached because usually when a man get attached, a woman gets unattached. Because the man starts showing weakness. Like I tell you guys, it's nothing wrong with loving a woman. But if you fall in love with a woman, a woman is going to fall out of love with you. Because you're going to you, start not acting like a man. All right, you're going to start letting shit she do. She's going to start testing like this, this motherfucker getting whipped. And that's highly unattractive to a woman. So I'm going to tell you, not saying that it's guaranteed that you're going to get attached. Because if you're a man that's on his purpose and you keep that abundance mindset... All right. And you don't spend all your time with her. You it don't necessarily mean you will get attached. Just living with a woman means that it increases the probability of you getting attached. That's all. I can live with a woman right now and not get attached. All right. That's because I ain't going to be on her ass all day. And the last pro guys is space. So when you live alone, any of y'all guys can attest this. Whether it was your best friend, whether it's your mom and dad, anybody, we as human beings, we need space from your ass. I tell y'all guys what, how would y'all like if I made three videos a day? You're like, oh man, that's great AMS. In a month from now, your ass will be tired of looking at my ass. You, oh man, this is great. Three videos a day, a month from now, you won't even watch another video. I'm telling you that shit right now. You won't even, you won't even want, through a month from now, you'd be so sick of me, you wouldn't even know what to do. You have to give people space and time to miss you. That's what everything. Imagine if football stayed on all year long. Think you love football still? They allow you to miss the sport. Okay? Space is as important as in keeping interest up. Not, and it doesn't mean that the person could be doing nothing wrong. They could be a perfect person. But, you know, you're just like, I hate the way that motherfucker eat a food. You know, you just, you're like, you just need to break from people. So space is something that is very much needed in a relationship, guys. Living together or not, it is very much needed. You need a break from me. I'm telling you right now, you think, oh, that would be great, AMS. Load three videos a day. Okay, three weeks from now, you won't watch another goddamn video. It'll be good at first. You'll be like, this is great. Football, if football said, hey, we're going year round. We ain't going to never, we're going to go year round. We're going to play, the, we're going to pay them more. We're going to go year round. You're like, oh, man, this is great. We got football year round. After about that first year, you'd be like, man, I'm sick of football. I'm completely sick of it. Don't allow you to miss it. So space is very important, guys, as in just not getting on your nerves. They could be not doing nothing right, wrong. You just be like, I just get tired of where that motherfucker smell. And they don't even smell bad. Like, I, I hate, she smell like chairs. I hate that. Okay, guys? So that's another pro to living alone. It just gives you space. Doesn't mean the person is doing that. Don't mean they having a mood swing. They could be perfect. But we as human beings... We need space. We need time away from everything, even stuff we love. How would you love to eat pizza every night? Oh, that's great. That's great, man. I love pizza. Two weeks from now, you'd be like, man, I don't want to see pizza again a day in my life. All right, guys. So now let's do the cons to living alone. First one, can get lonely if you have no purpose in life. All right, so any of you guys know 
the biggest detriment to men and what, what was causing men such an issue, if you don't have purpose in life, this is what causes you to hate women if you don't got one. Because you're so lonely and miserable, you just, I, you just like, I hate these bitches because they won't give me no date and I hate them. When you're a guy that gets his purpose, it replaces that. But everybody in the world don't know me and everybody's not on a purpose. And so what ends up happening is you get lonely. I'm going to tell you that shit now. You get you you going to end up doing some dumb shit to fill that void. That void has to be filled. There ain't no doubt about it. Let's say you a guy that work 12 hours a day. Let's just say 12 hours a day. You still got 12 hours left. Let's say you sleep 8 hours a day. You still got 4 hours left. What are you going to do in that 4 hours? That 4 hours of loneliness can break you. Yeah, you can fill it a couple of days. But can you fill it a couple years? Okay, so it's important that if you live alone, you're going to have to have purpose. All right, because it can get lonely. And this is what <laughs> that loneliness is what causes men to want to get married so that girl can move in with them or without getting married, move that girl. This is where all this comes from, guys. That loneliness, this what that 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 void will cause a man to be like, man, this sucks. My, all my boys, they didn't settle down. They can't get out no more. This makes a man say, man, you know what? Let me bring my girl on up in here. I'm lonely. He don't say that directly, but it's subconsciously planted in his head. So it can get lonely, guys, if you live long, if you don't have purpose. <clears throat> you spend a lot of time <clears throat> on money and dating and all that other bullshit. So let's just hypothetically say you don't have no purpose. What ends up happening, what I noticed with me, guys, is... When I was in relationships, I actually saved money. So I, I talk to you guys all the time about that Lincoln town car I had, right? And I was, the only reason I even had that money is because I was in a relationship. If I was single, when, when I was single, guys, I was living check to check, couldn't save nothing. Because that what I would make, I would go, I'd buy clothes, hit the club, pick, trying to pick up chicks, my chasing age, chasing ass stage. When I got a girlfriend, stopped going to the club, money stacked up. I actually saved up enough money to put down on a Lincoln Town car. Crazy. And I was amazed. I was like, God. And it didn't even take me that long either, guys. You'd be surprised. You could be a guy right now. You're watching this and you make $500 a week and you stop spending money six months from there. I tell you what. Let's say you just save $200 a week out that $500. Do that for six months. You'd be like, God damn, you don't even realize it when you out here doing all that. When you buying the clothes, you going to the clubs, you paying 25 to get in. Then you go in there, you spend another 75 drinking or whatever, right? You don't, you don't even realize it. It adds up. You got to eat before you go out. You got to eat when you go home because you got alcohol. You spend so much money going out. When I got a girlfriend, man, I saved so much money. It was, I was, I I, I, it's, it's, it was night and day. I always live check to check. Got a girlfriend, started saving money. I'm like, shit. Thought a girlfriend supposed to cost money. I actually end up saving money. Chasing ass costs way more money. So a con to living alone is if you don't have purpose, all this is based on if you don't have purpose, that you end up blowing a lot of money on dumb shit to fill that void. All right, next guys, the next one is uh, little small things like watching TV are better. So y'all guys seen some of the movies I show y'all I watch and stuff like that. There's no way, and, and it's just not me compromising, right? I'm just not a movie person like that, right? But when you watch the movie and you got somebody to talk back and forth with like, oh, what do you think finna happen? Oh, I think he finna get killed. Uh, it's like... Watching movies is better. Like I had heard about Raging Bull for years. Never sat down and watched it. I'm, I'm not. I'm just not that type of. I'm. I'm not that big of a movie person, unless, unless it's like something everybody running tell me like, hey man, you know I still seen that new movie. You got to go watch it. Something like that, or you know a big a big blockbuster or some Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, Denzel, or something like that. I go watch. But theoretically, I don't watch movies like that. And you know, sitting down like let's let's try Raging Bull. Good ass movie, good ass movie. But I would have never sat down and watched that movie by myself. 
watching movies and watching TV and shows and stuff like that is so much more better when you're watching it with a, a, your girl, probably even your friends, whatever. It's just so much more better. I noticed that when I watch games with my friends or something like that, especially if they rooting for the opposite team, it's so much more better than when I'm at home watching it by myself. So that's just one. That's one of the cons, guys, is that when you uh, you live alone, it's it's it's, it's so much more better if uh, when you can watch stuff with people, especially particularly your girl. All right. Another con to living alone is you got somebody to bounce ideas off of. Now, you say, well, I can call them and text them and bounce ideas off of them. What I've noticed is, with me, and I can't speak for everybody, is that I, I do that better at nighttime in the bed or when I'm watching TV or something. That ain't some, like, I won't text that if, if, if you're not near me. But if you near me, I'll talk about it. But that ain't something I get on the phone like, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? But if we sitting on the couch or we laying in the bed and something happened today and I'm thinking about it, you know, I'll bring it up to see what your ideas on it. So you just have somebody to bounce ideas off of. Of course, all this is too the same thing with a friend, guys. You just have somebody to bounce ideas off of. It's little simple stuff like that that you don't even think about. And you'll be surprised when you got somebody to bounce ideas off of because they might know something that you don't know. It's amazing. Like a lot, of, a lot of us think like, hey, ain't that a woman? Get? But you'll be surprised. There's some stuff she might know that you just don't know or not aware of. Okay, guys? Like, for, like a long time ago, I didn't have uh, dental insurance. And the girl I was uh, dating at the time said, hey, just uh, get Aflac. It's cheap. It's not that much expensive, whatever. And I got Aflac, and I ended up getting my teeth and stuff uh, fixed and stuff. I had needed a couple root canals. Okay, a little some simple stuff like that. Just, you know, you just don't know everything. So you just got somebody else that might know something that you don't know or just didn't think of. Now, that's amazing. Uh, and the last one, guys, and this is a pretty good one, too. Depending on one income. So when you live alone, you are just depending on what you make. Two incomes provide more stability. So God forbid if something happened to you and let's just assume she don't bail on you, right? Let's just assume she's attached and will hold you down. All right. My, my thinking on this, guys, is if you fall, this is how I honestly think about falling, if you fall down in a woman, right? And you had to depend on her. I think long as she felt like, you know, you wasn't feeling sorry for yourself and you didn't lose your confidence, I think a woman will ride for you. In other words, you can't go through no prolonged struggle stage feeling sorry for yourself. Yes, I believe like if, if, if I lost all my income right now, I'm going to be right back grinding doing something. That's, see, that's why I don't think none of the girls I talk to would, would dip on me or nothing like that. It's not like I'm sitting in the house feeling sorry for myself wondering what happened. I'm going to be right back on the bus trying to figure it out. How can I get this shit back on the road? All right? Uh, that's the thing. And that's what a lot of you guys fail to realize is that it, all this is not it's, it's assuming she doesn't view you as a beta male provider. If you, a woman, if you were the woman that views you as a beta male provider and you lose your income, she's going to leave you. Cause that's the only reason she's there all right she's not there for your confidence and none of that she's with you for stability and if you lose that stability you serve her no good now she might not leave that day but she's gonna start acting like a bitch to push you away on purpose so she's gonna be intolerable all right she's gonna start coming in being very disrespect coming in late and all this other stuff but um for the guys out there that are with women that view them as an alpha male as long as you maintain your confidence and you didn't Start feeling sorry for yourself or start playing like a victim. I wholeheartedly believe a woman will ride with you as long as you was trying to get back on your feet. But that is a con to living alone. You're depending upon one income. All right. Now, this is also you can say, well, this is why it's so important to create multiple streams of income. OK, if you two go down for me, I still got patron. I still got my books. I still got consultations. All right. Obviously, it'll be affected because they obviously feed off of patron, uh, off of YouTube. But it's, the facts remain the same. I got two YouTube channels, so that means something would have to happen to two channels. All right, that wasn't no accident, guys. I, st I started two channels just for that reason. All right, YouTube might want to take one channel down, and one channel might get hacked, anything. That's why I started two channels. I'm like, I got all my eggs in one basket. That's what made me create two channels. I'm like, 
anything can happen. YouTube could take this channel down. Y'all guys know my first 200 videos are much harder than my, the, the, my last 200 videos, okay? And so that, that just, that's just me evolving. That's just, that's, 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 the, that's the way. Any of y'all guys want to see me on YouTube now? Tell my fuck these hoes to sleep and digging down and toss to the side of the road. Y'all be like, man, motherfucker, you were saying that shit in 2017. Man, what else you got? Nobody want to hear that same old shit. Nobody want to hear that. All right, that's just the national evolution of things, okay? A lot of the stuff I said in the uh, first uh, year on YouTube and stuff, I don't, say, I don't talk that harsh no more. That's because nobody want to hear that shit no more. Okay, what else you got? Okay, we got it. Dig them down and toss them on the road. Okay, all right, what else you got? You got to evolve. So, but getting back to the point, guys, uh, you still depend upon one source of income unless you create multiple streams of income. At least when you with your woman, you live with a woman. At least if you and, and I'm just and the reason I'm talking about this is because I'm speaking from the average guy. The average guy is not a YouTuber with eight streams of income. The average YouTube, the average guy that works, he got a job. That's what he got a job. He makes 50, 60 grand a year. Okay, he got a salary. That's the way. And he he ain't got two YouTube channels, Patreon, T-shirts, books. The average guy say I got one income. So what I'm saying is, if something happened to that one source of income, at least your girl, if she works, can hold you down for a month or two. I'm not saying she's going to hold you down for three years, at least hold you down for a month or two till you figure things out. All right? Two income streams obviously offers more stability than one. That's all I'm saying. All right, guys. So those are the pros and cons to living alone for all my Purple Peel brothers that are considering uh you know maybe one of the guys I'm, i won't get married but i've been thinking about maybe me and my girlfriend should live together whatever all right i don't judge nobody i, I know most of you guys even guys over here that are red pill i'm telling you little 23 year old motherfucker think they'll be red pill when they 53 you you motherfuckers y'all just you, you will see we'll see everybody i'm gonna be red pill man 25 years from now you'll be married with three kids get the fuck out of here all right guys i'll get back with you guys later